Hi everyone! I want to teach you a self-test that will help you discover more about your own energy and how it potentially will interact with other energies that you might want to ingest. So this test is really great for um, things that you aren't sure about and you don't already have a strong inkling toward because sometimes you can fudge it a little bit if you really, really want that thing that you're testing. But if it's something you're just not sure about and you're trying to make a choice, this works pretty well. So I have a lemon as my demo, and I'm going to put it right um, over my stomach. I'm going to hold on to it with both hands. I'm going to relax my knees. I'm going to try to clear my head and not have any expectation, but pay attention. So non-expectant attention and focus here. And sometimes it helps to close your eyes. So I'm going to take a deep breath in, and as I release it, I'm just going to see what happens. And I'm kind of moving toward this lemon. I am leaning toward it. It's kind of making me rock. So that's a signal that this would be good for me right now. Now, if it weren't, I would fall away from it. <clears throat> a third possibility is that you might find yourself just kind of wiggling from side to side, which I interpret as kind of a neutral. So any food substance may, in fact, be something that your body is really attracted to and can make use of, or is kind of neutral about and will be fine with it, but it's not necessarily going to boost your energy, or something that really your body's like, I don't need that right now. Now, I don't suggest using this for testing things that you might be allergic to. I don't think it's fine-tuned enough for that. <clears throat> but I think for, you know, which kind of tea should I drink, uh, what vegetable might be best for me right now, things like that, it's very helpful. Plus, it starts to give you a, a kind of ongoing record of what you tend to be attracted to or not. And at any given time, you might already have enough of whatever energy this lemon has. So maybe I had a glass of lemonade earlier in the day, and it was fine for me then, but maybe I'm falling away from it now. So it doesn't mean, oh, lemons are always bad for me. It just may mean, oh, my body would like some other kind of energy now. It's already got that. So that's another thing to keep in mind as you do the human pendulum test. Thank you.